Studio. I have a flip through of a folio to share with you and I will be listing this folio in my studio and I will leave that link below. Um, this was a kit that I got from Tina of Shabby Dabby Doodah. Um, the, Im the images are. Um, this is a little booklet. It is made with flocked paper. That's one of Tina's images there. And it's just a little notebook. This was kind of extra. Um, I didn't really fit inside the, the book, so it just ended up being a little bonus. So, ooh, sorry about that. A wasp is in my studio. Oh my gosh, it just flew down at me. Maybe it'll stay in its own lane. Uh, here's the folio. It is covered in vintage wallpaper. And it ties with a sorry silk ribbon. I don't know where that wasp went. I'm kind of sorry about that. <laughs> uh, it opens up like this. And inside, it's very interactive. It's got some little places that you can jot things down. Let's see. Let these come out. Wait, am I pulling everything out? Something is stuck. Okay, sorry about that. Um, a little journaling card. Another little journaling card with Tina's images. A couple of little uh, note pages. I just had them shoved down in there really good. <laughs> a couple of little note pages that are stamped with a chickadee. Got one here too. Just little blank note pages. And this is more of what I consider to be what I call a jot journal. It has just little spots that you can jot things down, not necessarily things that are, um, you know, that you would keep in maybe a regular large journal because this is a smaller thing. On the other side, we've got some another little journaling tag and some little journaling papers over there. And those just slide under this little flap. Here we've got a little tiny envelope. And there is a little bitty piece of ephemera in there that you can write on. Or you can tuck something of your own in there. Maybe this would be a good thing to keep things like concert tickets or business cards. You could empty all the stuff out of it and use it for something else. Here you've got a pocket on the front with a little tag. Another little tag. A journal card and a little envelope with just a fold out to journal on and you can even journal on that it is covered with lined paper and we'll just tidy and tuck all that back in this portion here flips up. There's a magnet that holds this portion closed and it flips down. I'll show you a part of it at a time. This portion has some little um, tags inside the little slot pocket like this. And then down here, let me see if I can get that in there, there is a little notepad. Now this notepad can be replaced. You just untie this and punch holes and put new paper and there is there are several sheets of paper there. Okay, and then that clicks up and then it folds out the other way and on this side you have two little envelopes that are hand painted paper with again the little fold outs that you can journal on. The Both of these are exactly the same. And then there is this little postcard here that flips down this way. And it also flips back that way that you can journal on both sides of that. I'm not going to bother tidy tying, but I'm going to sort of tie it down. So it's... Then you have this section here. This is a removable notebook. It just slips in this little pocket. And this paper is refillable. This is not stitched in. It's just under this um, 
binding so you just slide it in so you can replace that you can um, use this for for you know jotting down notes or whatever you know whatever someone wants to use this for I guess it'd be up to the person who gets it then there's a pocket behind here and in there there's a little journal card in that little pocket there's also a pocket here and there is a long tag there there's also a pocket on this side oops, with a long journaling tag and then if we fold it up and turn it over there's yet another pocket on the back with a long another long journaling tag so this little folio will be um, listed in my Etsy shop and I will leave the link below for you and want to thank you for joining me and I will see you around the studio.